The keynote really focused on a recent project uh, that we have developed called the Office of the Future. It's actually the first 3D printed uh, fully occupied building in the world. There have been a number of uh, attempts to make 3D printed uh, architectural scale projects, but this is literally the first that is a, a proper building with an AC system, a lighting system, you know, a front door. And uh, we really wanted to share with the audience some of the, uh, the ideas behind the project and some of the realities in actually delivering it. You know, Dubai is a very small town and uh, one tends to bump into some uh, folks at these, these kinds of things and you never know what comes out of it. Uh, maybe, you know, the next 3D printed uh, skyscraper perhaps. The interesting thing about Middle East construction um, uh, scenario is that in many ways uh, it has been able to rely on older methodologies for longer periods of time. If you look at uh, Western construction practices or the Far East uh, as well, there's been a, a trend towards optimization, pod construction, and essentially anything that, that lowers the cost of labor on the site. And here in the Middle East and Dubai, uh, we've had the luxury of actually having relatively low cost labor, which has meant that the technological push has not been there uh, to such an extent. Having said that, th this region is also world renowned for pushing construction further and higher and larger uh, than anywhere else in the world. So you have this interesting sort of uh, duality of old methodologies being applied to innovative and extremely ambitious projects. And I think what we'll see uh, you know, in the future, particularly as part of Sheikh Mohammed's 2020 vision of Dubai as an incubator for, for innovation, is that many of those old practices in construction will start to, to die out. And we'll probably see a kind of a leapfrogging effect where uh, the technologies of today or maybe in, in the short term future will be adopted and mandated uh, quite quickly. Well, I think there's, there's great potential in, in 3D printing, uh, uh, particularly when it comes to the control of specific form. A lot of the building industry has been driven by the mechanized production of material, whether it's sheet or extrusion or duplication, because obviously this keeps the cost down. Now, the, the 3D printing and what that represents essentially says that there's no cost difference between something that's in entirely unique and something that is repetitive and uh, uh, simple in its, in its form. So all of a sudden, projects that may have been dis dismissed in the past of being too extravagant, too expensive, can be considered. This is almost an aesthetic thing, I would say. But I think more interesting than that, we can start to consider uh, a greater integration between systems. And that's what I was talking about in the talk, where you could imagine, for example, a structural slab, not only performing a structural uh, requirement, but also being the, uh, the, the method by which air is circulated in a building or the way that light is, is reflected in the space. Because all of a sudden, with the, with the kind of confluence of BIM modeling technology, which essentially allows an entire project to be fully modeled before it's constructed, and the ability to then manufacture these uh, complex forms in an automated way, means that we could actually start integrating uh, different systems uh, like that. Technology doesn't improve people's lives, in my humble opinion. It changes people's lives. And what tends to happen is that technology will give a competitive edge to the user of that technology. Sooner or later, the rest of the market will catch up and also be using that technology. But in order to be ahead in the market, the adoption of technology is a pretty good idea. I think the human element Indeed, we may see the human element start to move away from the construction site, but th those same humans will be programming robots, constructing uh, specialized factories for off-site production and so forth. So I don't think that there's any kind of need to be worried about technology or, or, or robots putting people out of jobs, but I do think that we're in a period of, uh, we're always in a period of transition, but of course that's, that's speeding up. And, uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if in our own lifetimes we see uh, construction sites that are almost entirely robotic. But that doesn't mean that people are just, you know, off on holiday and taking it easy. Actually, there'll be a whole new industry based around that, supporting uh, robotic construction.